A very warm good evening, everyone, and welcome to the ISI live sessions that we have. Today is going to be a Monday evening special. So today, seventeenth of April, hai, and today, we are going to do two ISI questions. Uh, करने वाले हैं सो आई एस आई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू सिक्सटीन क्वेश्चन एंड सेवनटीन क्वेश्चन तो दो क्वेश्चन आपके लिए आज हम लोग करेंगे तो सबसे पहले लेट्स गो इन टू दी आई एस आई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू पी ए क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटीन क्वेश्चन आपके स्क्रीन पे ये रहा ओके सो वॉट इज द क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन इज F going from R to R defined by f x is equal to x square plus one to the power two zero two two. What kind of a function is this? ठीक है. Please understand one thing. एक चीज x square will always be greater than equal to zero. It can never be negative. Therefore, x square plus one entirely will always be greater than equal to one. And hence. Some quantity greater than equal to one to the power of two thousand and twenty-two. This is an even number. So this overall will have to be greater than equal to one. Therefore, the range of this function will be basically from one to infinity. The range will be one to infinity, whereas the codomain is the set of all real numbers. Whenever the range is a subset of the codomain, the function is called an into function. Whenever the range is a subset of the codomain, it's called an into function. Therefore, it is definitely not onto, not onto. So onto ka option ko out karenge. Okay. So a ya d hoga. A hoga when the function is one to one. Now let's understand whether the function is one to one or not. Okay, a one to one function is a function. Give me a moment. Yeah, a one to one function is a function that has one x value going to exactly one value in the codomain, right? So, यहां पर क्या मल्टीपल वैल्यूज आर गोइंग टू वन वैल्यू इफ मल्टीपल वैल्यूज आर गोइंग टू वन वैल्यू लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल टू एंड माइनस टू इफ बोथ आर गोइंग टू वन वैल्यू देन इट इज नॉट वन टू वन इट इज अ मेनी टू वन फंक्शन अंडरस्टूड सो यहां पर क्या हो रहा है लेट्स टेक दिस एग्जाम्पल ओनली एफ ऑफ माइनस टू विल बी माइनस टू स्क्वेर प्लस वन टू दी पावर टू जीरो टू टू एंड एफ ऑफ टू विल बी Two square four plus one to the power two zero two two. So here f minus two and f two are both going to the same value. So it is not one to one. Also, it is neither one to one nor on two. D is the answer. You can also think about this uh, problem by the classical definition where we check whether the function is one to one or not, and that is we take two different values x two not equal to x one. Then, if the function is one to one, f x two should also not be equal to f x one. If x two not equal to x one, then f x two also not equal to f x one. Then the function is called one to one. Here, let's take what is f x one. F x one is basically x one square plus one to the power two zero two two. F x two will be nothing but x two square plus one to the power two zero two two. Okay, can both of them be equal? X one square plus one to the power two zero two two. Can it be equal to x two square plus one to the power two zero two two? Okay, firstly, this goes. Okay, firstly, this goes. Both of them have to be positive. So, x one square is equal to x two square. That means x one can be equal to plus minus x two. so it is a possibility that if x1 is equal to minus x2 then fx1 is equal to fx2 so this means that x1 not equal to x2 and yet fx1 is equal to fx2 right so if x1 is equal to minus x2 it obviously means that x1 is not equal to x2 except the case where x is equal to 0 right 
So whenever x1 is equal to 5, x2 is equal to minus 5, both will go to the same value. X1 is equal to some not equal to zero value. Then x1 is equal to minus x2 will go to the same value. So it is not one proved by the classical definition as well. So you can do it in any way, but it's a very, very logical problem. Here the answer is D. Okay. Now let's go on to the next problem. That is question number 17. Aaj 17th of April hai and 17th question aaj hum karenge. As promised every day we will the question equal to the date. So question number 17. Consider an economy with two goods X and Y. Let the utility function be A root over X, Y. Okay. So the utility function is a constant root over X, Y where the constant is positive. Monotonic transformation. This can easily be written as root over X, Y. Or X to the power half into Y to the power half. As simple as that. Suppose the budget constraint is given by PXX plus PYY less than or equal to M. Where M greater than zero is the money income of the consumer and PX and PY are the prices. Okay. It's given to us that PX is equal to PY. Let PX is equal to PY is equal to P. Budget constraint M greater than or equal to. Since it is a Cobb Douglas, the equality will hold. X into P plus Y into P because PX is P, PY is also P. So this is what my budget line is. And this is what my utility function is ultimately. So we will use the shortcut Cobb Douglas. The shortcut Cobb Douglas is what? Whenever I have this U is equal to X to, X to the power A into Y to the power B. M is equal to X PX plus Y PY x optimal quantity will be the power divided by the summation of the two powers multiplied by the money income divided by the price of x y star similarly will be the power of y divided by summation of the two powers multiplied by money income divided by the price of y okay you use the lagrange you will get the same thing right it's a very typical format which if you have uh, prepared properly for these entrance examinations, you will know this. You should know this by now. So if this is what my utility function is, this is what budget line is. My optimal X is nothing but X power divided by summation of the two powers into money income by price. Y is again power of Y divided by summation of the two powers money income by price. Please note that this is m by 2p and this is also m by 2p. So both x and y values are m by 2p. Okay. So what is the equilibrium quantity that will maximize the utility of the consumer? m by 2p for x and m by 2p for y. Bombay. Doesn't come more simpler than that. Hence, this leads us to the conclusion of 17th April class for the ISI live session. I wish each of you all the best and stay tuned for question number 18 tomorrow. Bye-bye.